have fun. It's not all over. Ten nine, coming officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Ten one, you're breaking up. Ten nine, repeat please. Over. Ten nine, coming officer. Over. Coming officer. Ten nine, repeat message please. Did you misplace your firearm? Over. Mm. Oh, it's gotten worse. Try it. It's three percent. Before you can get the words out, everything gets scrambled in your brain. No, of course I didn't lose my fun a gun. Fuck it, I didn't lose my gun. He says he didn't lose his gun, or his fun, whatever that means. Ask him to describe it. His gun, not his fun. Just the gun will do. Satellite officer McLean requests a description. The fuck do you need a gun for? Look at the pythons on your arms. You are a gun. The biggest one in the world. Oh, request a description, huh? We'll give him one. Describe the plasma gun. Kim, what are you packing? It's a single shot kill A9. An armistice to be precise. It's a single shot armistice kill 9. Over. Says it's a kill uh, 9 millimeters armistice. Armistice? What is your fucking. Clearly he doesn't have his villier anymore. Dear God, he lost his gun. Oh, oh my, I can't. <laughs> this isn't really a laughing matter. Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself, <laughs> but this go here and him piss his back. <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Fuck. He lost his. Ask him if he still got his wiener. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to. Ask him. <sighs> Sergeant Orson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Now is a good time to say fuck and ass and so on. That'll make this all right. Yes, I lost my wiener too. Just lay off, okay? I left it at his mama's after I fucked her ass all night. Tell him that. <clears throat> That's a negative. What's he saying? He, uh, he said he sodomized your mother. The prick ate mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Some nerve he's got. <clears throat> sure her vanilla waffles were the only thing he ate? I'm winning them over. Shut up, Chester. This isn't funny. This is my mom we're talking about. Tell him to apologize. <clears throat> Sergeant Dorson requests uh, that you apologize for the claims that uh, you made about his mother. Over. <coughs> hey, if you don't like the fallout, maybe don't fuck with the firewalker. Mac, like he says uh, you shouldn't have antagonized the firewalker in the first place. Who? Huh? Satellite officer V. Um, I'm afraid Fire he might be water. referring to himself. Fire water? He's lost it. Fuck it. Tell him to find his goddamn badge and gun. That's the only thing that matters. Satellite officer V. No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good without my gun. Thanks. I'm going to report that you are in pursuit of your service weapon. Over. In pursuit of his? Officer, do you need further assistance? Over. This might sound odd, but there's personal details I'd like to discuss. Uh, okay, then. Wait. Before you say anything stupid, think it through. I need information, not Be fear. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. 10 four, sir. I'm not hearing your question. I wanted to know if you got my badge description right in your report. Could you read it to me? Name, rank, and date of birth. What? What is it? <laughs> he wants to verify his info. But of course, it says Dick Mullen, High General of the Revacholian Cavalry Force. Tell him to stop wasting time. What do you need, sir? Over. Please refer to me with my full name in the future. Ten nine, repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Over. Say. My. Name. Sir, I will not have you talk to me in this manner. Over. Please, just say my name, Jules. Uh, what? What is it? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him by his name. Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. Wrap it up. Don't indulge in his drunken antics. Any news about my, uh, um, family? Ten. Uh, you probably don't want to continue on this road. 
I just thought you might have heard of them, uh, that's all. No, sir, I haven't. You're not really keen on mentioning your home life, so I've always assumed things weren't that good on that front. Over. Have I ever told you about my life before the RCM? Then for, well, that's, uh... Does he actually want something, or is he hell-bent on disrupting our work? He asked if he ever told me about his days before joining the RCN. For God's sake, cut this shit out! Tell him to stop wasting time and be a goddamn policeman for a change. Sir, satellite officer Vickman. So, um, was there anything else? Yes, there's that. Understood, sir. Over. I am in dire need of financial assistance. Send for, I hear you. I don't have the authority to grant your request, but... What does he want now? He's asking for money. Is he fucking kidding? I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. All right. Uh, that's a negative on the additional funds, sir. Over. It's paramount to the investigation that you grant me money. He says it's important to the case. He isn't getting a red cent. Request denied, sir. Nothing is working. Please! I'm begging you here. I don't even have a place to sleep tonight. He says he's in trouble. Doesn't have a place to sleep. Well, I guess he'd better crack the case before sundown then. Uh, Vigmar said... Who cares what this Vigmar said? Enough, officer. This begging is below your dignity. Okay, I heard you. No fun. Anything else, sir? Over. That's all for now. Roger that. Ten, ten. Over and out. 18 kilometers to the south, in the 41st Precinct's relay booth, a small crowd has gathered around communication officer Jules Oldboy Poudier, around a dozen cops. They're discussing the top of the hour ad break, which comes at the top of every hour here it is now. The what is going on here? Did something happen? What happened is my partner made contact. It's not good. He's lost his badge and his sidearm. He seemed confused, delirious even. Mac, the torso Torson, is finger-fucking his fist, laughing hoarsely and apparently telling some dirty story to his partner, Chester McLean, near the entrance. Yeah, Mullen was fucked, all right. Sounded fucking drunk to me. Yeah, Mac's right. This was some gnarly shit there. I mean, before he started begging for money, it was- Enough! None of this is funny. It's fucking sad. That's what it is. He's a cop. He's one of us, goddamn this. We must help him. Yeah? How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Get him off the drink? Go jogging with him in the morning and get him on car juice? He's a lost man. I just know we can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. He wouldn't. Mac, man the door. You know what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Those were his words. This shit does not leave this room. Not a word of this to the captain. Or anyone else. We'll give him a couple of days to pull his shit together. I guess I can hold over the report for a few days. Good. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. We all got our laughs. Now get back to work. Far north. On the other side of the motorway, the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. That's so sad. The metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. Um. This is funny, but I can hardly keep up with what's needed for progress and what's just done for unlocking more shit. The reason why I'm choosing a lot of the dialogue options is because dialogue options have the capacity to open up new dialogue options or to specifically make it easier for you to, to like get a better skill check. Most of this game is dialogue. It's basically a novel. The game is literally like a the game is literally like a like a playable novel. Everything is done through the dialogue where you will slowly but surely learn more about what Revachol is, what happened here, what the political forces are inside of Revachol. While you are simultaneously trying to uncover the mysteries around how this one particular person found themselves to be hung, hanged on this this tree 
But it's also, you know, kind of confusing because it's like deep lore. It's deliberately confusing because you're drunk. You're in a drunken stupor, failing to comprehend who you are. You don't know where the fuck you are. You have amnesia. You're so drunk and you're trying to find out about yourself. And obviously there's hunches and things that, yes, I punched Kuno. There's obviously hunches and shit that helps you kind of understand who's what. Feelings from the past. Martinel, Reva, Martinez, Revachol, Insulin. However, having said that, the game is also incredibly political. And you've already saw, you've already seen a crumb of that with the conversation that we have with the racist lorry driver. This is literally like if a bunch of Hasanabi heads got together and made a fucking video game. That's why the original video game had voice actors like the Red Scare Girls. That's why there's a Dick Mullen reference to Nick Mullen. That's why there's also uh like I mean they're all the Chapo, the entire Chapo uh cast is in this in the original version. Calm like a Tom. Thank you for the 20 gifted subs. When they won an award, they literally, I think, uh, sh gave a shout out to Lennon. Or no, not Lennon. Marx and Engels, maybe? I thought they did. I thought they gave a shout out. All right, anyway. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. But what can you do? Work? The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. Heavier than you'd think. Cold and heavy. Like truth. You feel like you're reunited with truth once more. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. The handles are long and sleek. Snap snap. Though the cutters in your hand. It's robust, weatherproof and well made. Police lets you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. The pull-out toolbox slides back into the sky. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. You can revisit the bench if you... I need to find a fucking bag and I need to find one fast, chat. Oh, there it is. Look at that, a bag. This coin operated viewer is facing south. The instruction manual says to insert 25 centimes and pull the handle while looking inside. The Your money disappears into the coin slot. The curtains on the display open. You lean in to catch the view. It's blurry. Different. The lenses shift. The ghost sharpens into an islet in the bay. In the ruins, a man-made structure is visible. A half-sunken sea fort. It's concrete almost reconquered by nature. It looks as if it was abandoned quite some time ago. Nothing but a rotten tooth remains of the anti-aircraft tower. A lonely birch tree grows out of it. Its leaves ripped from it by the winter wind. There are ruins of some kind of building there. Really? I don't have the eyesight to make it out. Hang in there, little one. The little brave birch tree seems to wave back in the wind. Huh? 
hobo cop, hobo cop, hobo cop, hobo cop, hobo cop, hobo cop, hobo cop. I'm gonna make so much money, dude. You don't even know, son. This Postla Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. Good mail delivery box. The box seems happy. Eat shit pig, fucked by the coon, and sent G with a crown have been scribbled on it. Jenny is a whore and best set mailbox also. Been there, post Laventurier mail collection box. Been there. The mail collection box seems cathartic. Thankful even. So do you. You shudder. Then you swallow. And then suddenly, you see it. Over all the other graffitos, someone has, using the tip of a very sharp knife, cut the words, Revachon forever. Fuck you, mail delivery box! There is a hollow ring as you kick the box. It's your toe has suffered damage. It Fuck. hurts. Cool. You really showed that mail collection box. You think so? You think it was cool? I don't. Let's go. He Fuck. must see the box as the weaker of the two, and you as a bully. Something he doesn't stand for. I'm going to be rich. Rich, I tell you. Unimaginable wealths stand before me. Look at all of these. The tear machine stands in the. Your bottles clunk into the machine. A dollar and the money and appears 60. with a satisfying jingle. You're a richer man now. Fuck. Still not enough to get the... The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals... T one bottle equals 10 cents. That's not enough. Maybe the gardener will give me ammonia. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? You sound surprised. You don't see a lot of police around here. That's all. I have some questions for of you. Of course. What can I help you with? My partner told me you may have some ammonia. Can I have some? Sure. I'm done with it. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. What is this fuck the police business? Excuse me? She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. The street sign says, fuck the police. Oh, well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. Well, what about the other sign? Pigs go home. Who are these pigs? I don't know anything about that either. As I said, I didn't write it. Even if she didn't write it, she should clean it. You could clean it up if you get a chance. Be a citizen. Be a winner. Okay. She's probably not gonna do it. We need direction. Since the street sign's messed up. Thanks, that's no all problem. we are. Here for now, of I course. have to run. I won't hold you back. Her gloves. You get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with after all. One more thing. Can I borrow your gloves? Sure, keep them. I have another pair. There you go. You are a good citizen after all.
This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, Fuck, that's gonna fail. I guess I should go back inside and try to get the key from God. Oh, fucking unbearable. Can I help you? Is the trash container out back no, here? No, it belongs. Thank you for clearing the depth. Why do you keep the con- Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors too. They put their trash there and they don't pay for the garbage company. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. I wonder what this feeling is. Prod at him and find out. What if I told you I am a hobo, or soon to be one, rummaging throughout that trash? Will you keep me out too? Doesn't it seem callous to you, guarding even your leftovers from the poor? Callous? What are you, Kras Mazov? Almost all establishments in Revishol keep their trash locked. The whirling in rags is not special in that regard. What about me if I was a hobo? Yes. But I need those leftovers to survive. Sir, I'm sorry the RCM is having financial trouble, but it's not this establishment's problem. We need those keys. What do you need them for? It concerns the keys. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're done, please. Goodbye. How far are we into the game, gamers? Is super... We just started. This trash container is locked. This, with a well-oiled crack, the lock pops open. Don't. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't. Of course you should. This is your time to shine, hobo cop. Dive into that dumpster for extra content. Didn't I just have a premonition that there's something in there? There is, but you won't like it. Sweat forms on your brow. Your hand is still on the lid. Open the lid. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Look under the boxes of cartons. You see milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Sole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And Pick up turbo noodles. Nothing of note, however. Pick up the rags. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. I'll grab them. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. The victim's clothes? Cadaverino door is faint. If these belong to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Drop them in here, officer. Guitar marked blue jeans. Pockets empty or emptied. He wore them with a belt, too, a white belt. The loops appear stretched, but the belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? Seems they I used the belt to strangle him, no? Something slimy catches your eye. A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored, appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. Is Kim a good cop? He is the only good cop. This is a military-type overgarment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. In the rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. Just garbage. That's all I think. All right. We should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. You think someone from the Whirling might have been involved, maybe? Not really. 
All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The lid was locked and his establishment had the key. It's just a small loose thread. Yeah, we need to ask the kids who put them there. The fuck's he on about, kids? You hear that, Kuno? He thinks you're an infant or something. See? Okay. The lieutenant nods, then looks back into the trash container. Search the food waste. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato pills, mostly. Unidentified nothing. It's n What's this? What? A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple pills. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. Pick something it out. larger. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes. Written in a man's handwriting. Officer, is that your paperwork? No, it can't yes, be. Yes, it is. Look. This plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form. If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? <sighs> I think I didn't want to be a cop anymore, so I threw it away. It must have been cramping my style. Officer, this is an official piece of paperwork. It probably contains notes on numerous ongoing investigations and could even list undercover operatives, informants, I suggest integrating it into your style, for all our sakes. Okay, I'll do that. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Now, tell me what your eagle eyes see. Some items, such as the ledger you found, are interactable. Wow, an armistice caliber 50 knock cannon. Half wrapped in paper tissues. So shiny. What's a knock cannon? It's a giant rifle, and it's very expensive. Not as expensive as that fat string of pearls snaking around the rotten banana peels, however. And is that Cordon Electric's preamp with Electra F2 tubes? It is. What a that beauty. That catches quite a price. We're talking 12,000. Easy. What a Unless beauty. Unless you're into hi-fi yourself. I am into hi-fi. That's too bad, because none of those no! things are actually in there. There's just food waste and crisp wrappings. A cruel jest. There must be something. All you see is a broken mug with a racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. An antique? Only in its social sensibility. I'll take the mug anyway. Mm -hmm. You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this item first. The container sounds a muffled gong. Let's take a look at that racist mug. That's one thing off the list. I think we got it all. As you turn, a bright light catches your eye. Make from a distant sunset, a stage light, flash photography, nowhere in particular. It's just what superstar law officers do. They squint at lights and they solve shit. Yeah, that's me. I've been establishing my superstardom hard lately. Yeah, you have. You're a big dick cop, Dick Mullen. Salam Rocky Bayi, badass on the edge disco cop. Time to recede into a ludicrous fantasy world. Here we go. Camera, lights, action. With a sudden flash, the world freezes around you and you along with it. In an iconic monochrome solution, a black silhouette against a rasterized orange world. It's Now let's take a look at the interactable items. It's just a racist mug. What's there to read here? Not much. It's quite a lot to read into here, actually. Look at all that content. Oh boy. Here we go. What are you going to say about a broken, tossed away mug that you the mug dug club. out of the garbage? It's a mug club. It's Steven Crowder's racist mug. It's important to me, and I will look into it. This mug is an example of prejudice. I'm going to use it as an example of what not to do. I'm going to push this into the face of every merchant I find and tell them this is your inane ideology. The mug will be useful. By denouncing it, I can earn political capital to mask my badass hustling, i.e. fraud and embezzlement. The mug didn't belong in the trash, it was just a funny mug. 
Can't anyone laugh anymore? If you want to earn some change by guilting people, go for it. But if you want to earn real dough, finish the case and start getting paid again. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board, barely held together by a metal clip. This sad display is made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. Anything else? There's a piece of toilet paper, or is it cleaning tissue? No, it's toilet paper, desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. It's a metaphor for you. Below the pathetics? Terror. Do not look into its blue heart. Okay, we're gonna quick save it here. Or, fuck, wait, hold on. I'm gonna put the ledger away. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a quick save here. Or, save the game here. And I'm gonna end the stream. Because I have to go to a dinner. But this was fun. While it lasted. Okay, and I will make a return to it. It feels like you guys enjoy it so far. So far, so good. But I must bid you adieu for the time 